Okay, so we have talked um, in a several posts about disguises and disguise work. Um, picking up your burner phone, for example, uh, to meeting up a uh, to purchase some Bitcoin uh, anonymously. Uh, there are a lot of instances where you might want to disguise yourself. Uh, maybe you're in an area where people are looking out for you specifically and you're in trouble and you need to quickly disguise yourself. Um, now there's a variety of different disguises available um, and we go into this very um, in-depth on um, I think it's a three or four part series on disguises uh, that we did um, I think I believe it was last spring. So this is just kind of an introduction and a uh, kind of some some tips to this. By no means is this an exhaustive video. So first, what you want to think about is you want to change the most apparent things about yourself. Uh, the 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 feature that is the probably the most iconic about you. So it could be a mole, it could be a hair, it could be your nose, it could be your um, eyebrows, um, facial feature, whatever it is. Um, so that's the first thing you're going to want to zero in on. Um, and then second, what I would look, what I'd, I'd consider is, you know, thinking about who you want to, to, um, evade, you know, if there's somebody who is looking for you specifically with your specific, uh, characteristics, um, then that, that, that they know what you look like, or do you just want to kind of fool somebody or kind of trick uh, their mind into not thinking that they saw you in the first place or that they remembered seeing say a blonde person and you're really brunette or whatever um, so disguises work at different levels and there's different uh, levels of, of disguises that are effective where they're the most effective is in movement as you're moving so you want to think about using transitioning very quickly um, in into your disguise and to be in your disguise while you're moving so if you're in a car or if you're on foot um, you know where people aren't going to really zero in on your details essentially um, that's going to be the most effective now if you're really good at disguises you know, you you could go to a bar where you normally go or a restaurant or whatever and sit down and, you know, with some friends or family. And if they don't detect you, that, you know, that's a pretty good sign of being very well disguised. But for the most part, we don't need to go into that kind of depth. So, you know, so for me, um, what I would zero in on is um, I've got dark hair. So I've got a wig with blonde hair. I have a, a light pair of glasses, so I'm going to have a dark pair of glasses. Um, you know, in areas where I want to be careful about, um, you know, people maybe recognizing me or something, I might go with a more subdued, you know, hat or clothing that no one has ever seen before. Uh, so, new clothing. Um, if I'm trying to blend into an area, it would be going to like a St. Paul or a Vinny St. Paul's or a, a Goodwill and picking up, you know, a sweatshirt, for example, of the, um, of the high school, uh, football team or, or, or something, something along those lines or, or an area where, you know, uh, a, 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 the basketball team of an area or whatever. So you kind of blend in and people kind of, um, don't think of you as being an outsider. Um, so essentially a very easy, very quick kit um, is going to be just changing some of those broad, those broad things. Um, so what I have in, in this setup here is, is the wig, um, a hat, um, I've got a pair of glasses, and then with that, um, a pair of contacts. These are colored contacts. Uh, so um, I have brown eyes, I'll have blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, and then a skull cap here to wear with the wig if you want to wear it for a longer period of time. Um, then with that, then I have these wedges. Um, and these wedges can be slipped into my shoe. And what is that going to do? That's going to physically change my gait. So if anyone is looking out for me specifically, they might be able to recognize me subconsciously or consciously through my gait. So I want to change the things that I can't change 
um, I can't mimic essentially. And so if I change my gait uh, with um, something in my shoe, it could be a pebble, it could be whatever, but this is going to give me a little more lift um, and it's going to give me a very distinct walk that I, it's going to force me to do that. Um, and then lastly, and this ties into um, our blog post on uh, aliases and uh, creating the cover legend, um, as well as sheep, um, as well as um, uh, um, sock puppet creation, and that is um, a new identity. And so um, I have business cards here which represent a stock puppet character or an alias that I've created. And um, this individual has a job, he has a phone number that works, um, an email address that works, uh, he has um, a, a car, he has a Facebook account, a uh, LinkedIn account uh, that is all managed and runs. And so um, I could easily put on a disguise and have an alias um, essentially behind me to confirm who I am. Uh, so um, very simple, very cheap, very inexpensive. Um, you know, the wigs and the um, all the extra stuff is really kind of above and beyond. Um, you know, just thinking about how you want to change your clothes or layering, kind of thinking in advance about, you know, what you can what you can change so that you're com a complete contrast to who you are is essentially what you want to think of. Um, so it's not just changing a jacket color, um, but it's also changing the behavior, the mannerisms, um, the identity, the crowd identity of that people might associate with you with you and in, in that they will um, that'll help you essentially disappear so again there's different levels of this if you're just needing to pass through an area versus needing to trick friends and family or whatever um, so you can check out the, the blog post if you'd like um, but this was just kind of a quick down and dirty on disguises